Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to dive into creating your style inverter module. This module circuit that operates at both high and low frequencies. Oh, let's get started. First, let's know about the pin connection of SG3525 IC number 1 inverter input in number 2 non inverting input in 3. This pin out can be used for synchronizing the IC with an external oscillator frequency. Pin 4 is the oscillator output of the IC. The frequency of the IC may be confirmed at this pin out. Pin 5 and 6 are used to connect an external capacitor and resistor respectively to set up the frequency of the oscillator circuit. Pin 7 is used to determine the dead time for IC. A resistor is connected between pin 7 and 5 will decide the frequency of PWM or dead time. Pin 8. A capacitor is connected with this pin and ground. This pin is used to indicate options softly. Pin 9 is a compensation pin. It is used to compensate for the error and avoid rapid fluctuation. Pin 10 is a shutdown pin. This pin is used to shut down the output of IC in the event of malfunction or unwanted condition. Pin 11 and 14 are two output that is used as an input for external device. Pin 12 is a ground pin. Pin 15 is a supply input voltage 8 to 35 volts. Internal 5.1 volt reference is terminated through pin 16 and can be used for external reference purpose. For example, you can use this 5.1 volt for setting up a fixed reference for a low battery cutoff or ampere circuit at stroke. If it is not used, then this pin must be grounded with a low value capacitor. This is the circuit diagram, circuit diagram and PCB files download link. Check out the video description below. I have connected these schematics into a user friendly PCB layout. Wondering how it looks? This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. On the world's leading manufacturer is a printed circuit board high quality. Choose a large number of color circuit boards makes your PCB at high quality and very low prices. JLC PCB 1 to 8 layer PCB at just $2. Sign up here to get $54 new user scope. Link in first pin comment and description box. So I strongly recommend to order PCB, sign up and upload garbage file. Choose necessary PCB options. PCB reviews, you will see so many options. Once everything is done, click on save to call. In the next page, you can choose a shipping and payment options. Few days later, I received my circuit from GLC PCB. The print quality is commendable, sharp, clear, and precise. Now, assemble time. Let's bring this up. Now install the SG3525 IC into the IC base. I don't use dip switches here. Connect both sources pin of MOSFET. 
already rewind this transformer with primary winding of 3 and 3 turns and secondary winding of 95 turns to get about 230 volts. I used IRFP460 to use with this transformer MOSFET drain pin with the transformer. Ten ohm resistor gate pin of both MOSFETs. Now it's time to connect this oscillator circuit with resistors. The oscillator output with both resistors. Connect positive with center tape of transformer. Connect the oscillator negative with source of MOSFETs. Now connect the connectors. This is 12 volt input and this is AC output. As you can see the lamp is blowing very bright. Now I connect iron core transformer. Now let's adjust the output frequency, adjust it slowly to 50 Hz. That wrap up our tutorial. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you found it insightful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Until next time, happy tinkering.